Felder, and today I'm going to make pizza rustica, and it's a meat and cheese pie, uh, usually done during Easter time, and um, it's going to have a, a sort of a, a flaky crust uh, shell, and it's going to have uh, various meats and cheeses, and you'll see that as we go on. Start off though, let's start making that, um, that pie crust. And so, what I'm doing, two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, pretty simple stuff. A uh, little bit of salt, which I like, maybe a little bit like that, and I like to put some sugar in it because I'm going to make it sweet because the meat that I'm going to use is not. So maybe two tablespoons of uh, sugar or thereabouts. You could use as much as you want really. It's, it's how sweet you want the pie crust to be. So I put a little salt, a little sugar, and now I'm going to put two egg yolks. One. Two. With flavor and coloring. Now, is a, just going to grab some butter out of the refrigerator. And what I've done is I've kind of cubed about a uh, this is about half a cup or more of butter. I, put, I froze it actually first and then cut it up so that it doesn't... This is what works better. All right. Look at this. Look at that. I'm also going to need about... And by the way, half a cup is, uh, of butter is about one stick. I'm also going to need some water. But I'm just taking now the butter, kind of just smashing it up a little bit. So I don't have these big chunks. Trying to incorporate it into the flour. Some of you who are pie chef people know what I'm talking about. Just gotta squeeze it off. see. Some of you people are pie crust people. You know what I'm talking about. Now, maybe I won't need that much water. Let's see. I'm gonna put a little in here to hold it together. Cold water. Try to keep every surface cold, everything cold. mess. Alright, we're starting to get a dough, starting to form. Might need a little more water, but I'm getting there. Oh yeah, now it's starting. Me, I'm going to use a lot of water. <laughs> it's got to be done. There we go. Alright. Probably sounds more difficult than it actually is what I'm doing. Alright, now we're getting it. There we go. It's time to form a little bit of a dough. Try to grab it all, use it all. All right, don't want to play with it too much. The whole purpose is you want to keep some of those big lumps of uh, butter in there. You want it to all melt. Okay, I think we got that. I'm gonna get some wax paper. I'm going to uh, wrap this up and put it in the fridge for an hour. It's important when you're cooking to use good products. Use good organic flour. No, I'm just taking butter and I'm just smearing it all over the place here. This is what we're going to do next. We're going to take the ingredients that actually go to go inside the pie. And this is the cheeses and the meats. We're going to cut them up, put them in a bowl, and uh, that's about it. What I'm going to start with is about two pounds of this stuff. This is three pounds right here you're looking at. 
Now the coolest thing about regatta cheese is, fresh like this is, well there's a rubber band that seem to be fighting with it over here. But besides that is, you get a really cool container that you can use over there. Okay, so right here, let me put that up here so you can get a good look at it. Oh, that was way too much went in there. I'm gonna take a little bit out, I'll be right back. All right, we got about two pounds of that. It's about right. So I'm gonna just start off by taking maybe three pieces of cheese like this. Now I like to cut the Swiss about this size. It doesn't really matter. But I gotta tell you, I think cheese melts and the meat doesn't, so I'll probably cut the meat a little thinner. But for now, I think these kind of cubes are about right for the, for the cheese. Start off with a little bit of cheese like that. Let's put that in there, okay? Just start off like that. This is a beautiful cheese. Beautiful. Roll on. Same thing, cubing it. The last one is uh, mozzarella. I think you guys know what that is. It's, uh, it's not buffalo, it's just a basic cow. But it is fresh. You can get really good buffalo mozzarella, you should use it. Me, I'm a sucker for this stuff, so I'll probably use a lot of it. Just gonna cube it up again. This will really melt, so I'll make a, the chunks a little bigger. It'll just kinda, just, well, maybe not that big. But bigger than you've seen me cutting. Put that in there. All right, let's mix that up. Let me get something to mix that up. Now we're talking. Now we're starting to get somewhere. Looks great, doesn't it? It's pretty much all cheese now. All right, and we can, we can adjust this. We can put different things in, depending on what our mood is. All right, I'm gonna put this over here. And let's start on the meats. Now all of these are uh, pig products, or porco, or uh, whatever way you want to call it. I have a beautiful piece of salami here, Genoa salami here. Right? You've probably seen it, probably had a bologna sandwich sometime in the past. Now, for me, I like to make that these cuts a little smaller than I was making the cheese. Not much smaller, but a little smaller. And you know, it's all the way you feel the moment you're doing it. So, this is what you're gonna be biting into as you're eating this pie later on. So you gotta think about, what do you wanna bite, bite into? There's a thought right there when you're thinking about it. <laughs> so there goes the salami. See, we're starting to get a nice little thing going here. All right. Probably need more than that. Put that in. Let's get. Let's use it all. I'm a big salami. No pun intended. Okay. Beautiful. Also have. Um, save that for last. Got some. A little bit of ham here. This is just plain old boiled ham. Let's taste that. Oh, good. Very nice. I'm gonna put that in. Now you can pick any kind of meat or cheese you like. There's no set, set groupings that you have to use. Just any, it's a, it's a meat and it's a, uh, now this is all pork, so it's a meat and uh, cheese pie I'm making. So you see what's going on here? It's all the meat. Cheese. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna put all this in. In fact, if you notice, I'm putting everything I got in here. 